Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Look, I get it, you work long hours, you've been so focused on your job, but what did that get you? You're overweight, you're unhealthy, your life quality is slowly decaying because you never had the time to prioritize yourself. But let's have an honest conversation. If you keep doing what you're doing, where do you think you'll be in three years, five years, 10 years? And I know that you know you need to do something. So today, let me show you how we can optimize your time, create some form of structure that you can follow so that you can continue to excel in your career, focus on your job, and without having to let your health and body slowly wither away. These are the same methods I use for myself. My name is Alex Mendoza. I'm an online coach. We've worked with hundreds of guys yourself, which means I'm also very, very busy. And as some of you might know, running a business is very time consuming, emotionally exhausting and stressful, but there's definitely ways around it. So please don't give up on yourself today. Let me show you a few things that we can optimize to help you get on the right track. So we're going to switch from this camera to this camera. All right. So let's dive into this. So we're going to use a calendar application. My personal preference is Google Calendar. It's easy and I'll show you a couple of methods that you can use to make this whole experience a lot more efficient for you. I'm gonna share with you what my calendar looks like. I'm going to blur a couple of events for privacy reasons, but as you can see, my day is pretty busy as well. You know, I wake up at five in the morning, go to bed about, you know, 10 o'clock sometimes, really depends. And this is actually what it looks like with a lot more free time in my hands. Going back a couple months, as you can see, things were pretty damn wild. Now that was no reason for me to ignore my health. It was definitely challenging, but after some time, when you start to see results, make progress, the whole process becomes easier to follow and you start to become addicted to it, right? So let me show you how I construct my calendar and maybe you can pull away a thing or two and I'd love for you to implement this because it's a game changer, okay? So if you're working nine to five, this is a great example for you. Now, if you own your own business, you have way more control and flexibility with your schedule. And when it comes to that, it just comes down to setting prioritizations, limitations, and blocking out meals, training accordingly, similar to the importance as you would when it comes to bookings and meetings. So let's start on a blank canvas. We're gonna slowly paint it together. Let's start with our work hours. Let's say you work from nine to five, okay? We're just gonna label this as work. We're gonna change the color to gray and we're gonna click more options and we're going to repeat this. So that's what it looks like already. During that time period, you're dedicated those hours to working. Now that we have this, let's reverse engineer it, right? So let's say it takes about an hour and a half to go to work. So we're gonna mark it here from seven to 8.30. We're gonna call it travel. And we wanna show up a little bit early to be a bit more organized and we're not rushing around because that causes unnecessary stress. So let's just plan ahead. That means you can leave at 7.15 and you'll still have 15 minutes to spare. But let's say you like to be overly prepared and you like to give yourself 30 minutes to spare. Now we'll repeat the process. Custom Monday to Friday, we're traveling to work. Click save. And that's how it looks like. Now we're going to duplicate this as well. Click save. And it's gonna look something like this. And we're gonna drag it here as well. Let's leave a 30 minute buffer period. Um, just in case there's any delays, you get held back or whatever that reason might be. Now, this is what it looks like. Now, let's continue to build up the beginning of your day. Let's say it takes you one hour to get ready. For some of you guys, it might not even take that long. And let's say it takes you about 15 minutes to get your lazy ass out of bed. Because honestly, it takes me about 15 minutes as well. Wonderful. Now, this just means you gotta wake up at 5.45, start moving, have your breakfast, get ready, have a shower, iron your clothes, and then start traveling to work. Get to work, nine to five, Awesome, wrap up, get home at about 7 p.m. Now from here, let's say you wanna get about seven hours of sleep, which means that we have to be asleep at around 9.45. We're just gonna change this label to sleep and then repeat the process. Now, when you look at the schedule, let's be honest, we have a fair amount of time after work, giving us about three hours to spare. And we even have Sunday and Saturday completely free. Now let's build that out. Let's say you have a nice sleep in 9 a.m., okay? And we're gonna repeat that on the weekends. Now it looks something like this. Right Now that we know what your life looks like, let's start to add some additional puzzle pieces. We're going to start off with training three times a week. Given that your schedule throughout the week is pretty busy, let's utilize our time on the weekend. And all you need is one hour of training, okay? So let's say you spend 30 minutes, you know, getting ready when you wake up, have your breakfast, etc., and then head to the gym. We're gonna repeat that on the weekends, wonderful. Now, for some of you, you can train in the afternoon or train in the evening. It depends what whatever is most convenient. Let's say there's even a 15 minute travel period. And that's it. You have the rest of the weekend to do whatever the hell you want. So it's not that you don't have time. It's just that you don't know how to find time or it may not just be important. But again, that's where a lot of people go wrong. They wait until they suffer and they struggle and they go through so much pain. And that makes the whole process so much more difficult. So implement preventative methods. And if you're already there, try this. I guarantee by having structure, having something to follow a routine, knowing what you need to do, it will definitely help create the momentum, start seeing results, build consistency, and it will just domino effect from there. Now let's have a look at the weekdays. Obviously you're home from work, so clearly we don't have too much time to work with. What we're going to want to do is we're going to add a one hour training block on Wednesday. 
Now, where a lot of people go wrong is they go home, they eat, they lounge around, and then they lose the motivation or momentum to go to the gym. So what I want you to do is actually go from work straight to the gym. Let's say it takes 30 minutes to travel from your job to the gym. So we're going to adjust Wednesday. So on Wednesday, you're gonna train from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Now let's say it takes about an hour to travel back home. And there you go. Now that we have training sorted, let's look at a way to implement your nutrition. The biggest problem I see is people always opt for convenience. They come home, long day, they're tired, they just wanna grab something easy to eat. So to prevent that, we want to make sure we have meals prepared. Now there's a couple of options. You can order meal prep, but some people might prefer home cooked meals. Now what I like to do is always cook three days in advance so the food doesn't go too stale, it still feels a little bit fresh. And when it comes to creating your meal plan, I only tend to implement two to three cooked meals. So for breakfast, I like to cook that fresh. It could be eggs, it could be cereal, it could be oats. It's usually the lunch and dinners that you'd want to prepare, unless you like to sit at home, cook a nice dinner with your family. So in reality, all you have to do is maybe prepare two meals throughout the day and you're good to go, which doesn't really take much time of preparation. So let's go back to the calendar. On Tuesday, when you get home, let's give yourself a buffer period of 15 minutes to reset, unwind. And we're just gonna spend about 45 minutes, 45 minutes to prepare six meals for the next three days. Trust me, you're going to be doing yourself a solid favor and it's going to help you stay a lot more on track. So we've created meal prep and we want to do this again in about three days time. So we can do it on Saturday. It could be whenever throughout the day. I mean, you have the entire day free, feel free to cook whatever is most convenient for you. But by preparing those meals, it's going to really save you a lot of stress, a lot of headache, and really reduce the risk of failing throughout the week. There's a few different options available as well. You don't need to be necessarily cooking every meal. It really depends on your individual preferences. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out. But I hope you implement these strategies and techniques into your life, into your lifestyle, because the whole point of life is to live, right? And I see it happen way too much. People are so focused on working that their life quality starts to decrease. What's the point of earning money if we're just barely surviving? We're not being able to enjoy the quality of life. We feel like shit, we're going to work and we're just repeating the cycle. Surely, surely you wanna break that, you wanna make a change. So please try these strategies, implement it. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment and I hope this helps. If you gain value from this video, it really mean a lot to me if you hit subscribe. That way you get notified for any future videos similar to this. Good luck, all the best. Again, message me if you need any help.